Hey Scorpio, welcome into your October messages or whenever you find this, if you find this at a time other than October, take it as a timeless reading and assume the gods want you to know something, okay? This is good for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and North Node. I just had the Regeneration card just drop out, so I'm going to keep that here because I feel like there's something here. When I was meditating on your energies, I kept seeing eagles. Now the eagle is the higher octave the higher vibrational format of scorpio so once you've got over all of this um you know 3d tests and trials and karmic situations that's when you regenerate into the eagle now it's funny because the eagle actually breaks its own beak up and you know pulls it's it's bizarre they pull their own beak off and break it up so that it can regenerate because their beak ends up being so overgrown that they can't eat anything. So it's either die or smash your own beak up and regenerate. So it's it feels quite like intense energy. You know, you pulled Im uh, Imam. You pulled Fatima, the mother of Imams. Love is my lineage and gratitude is my religion. So there's something here about you pulling on those energies, okay? Finding gratitude and appreciation wherever you can. Now, Fatima's a real family goddess. She's all about that family. She's all about that lineage. She's all about giving to others who she loves and who she cares about. So that could be really uh, relevant for you during October or whenever you're getting this. Okay, show me more for Scorpio, please. Orphaned. Okay, so you may be feeling like a sense of aloneness, but you know what? When we feel orphaned or when we feel alone or when we feel outcast that's when it really uh, gives us such a valuable idea of who we are, what we represent and where we want to be. It, it sends out so much power to the universe when we crave something so deeply. It's powerful alchemical stuff, okay? It's that desire that conjures up from the universe. It's the desire that pulls in the power, okay? And we've got all that glitters. So I feel like you might be looking at something you've lost perhaps as if it was really valuable and you know, life is hypnotic so we can really get attached to people and places and things when really the thing we should be most attached to is our soul, it's our higher self and oftentimes we get pulled into lower 3D situations thinking that we found everything we want and even when people show us their true colors it can be hard to let go because we've been hypnotized into thinking that they're really something special when actually you know it was a facade you know it was you know our perception of them it was us projecting ourselves and our goodness and our heart onto them so i feel like there's something there with that to the sea it means going with the flow it means be willing to explore be willing to take your cues and nudges from the universe okay and move in ways you might not have expected because we never know when we're on the ocean we never know what those waves are going to do but if we go with the flow if we understand the nature of the ocean and you know let's translate that into reality if we understand the nature of reality then we can allow ourselves to be guided by the universe in the way that we need okay we've got poised on the bottom of the deck so you're more ready than you think for something okay you're more ready to go it alone or to fly to get into your higher 5d eagle energies than you might realize let's see let's see what the tarot has for us so this is a powerful month for you okay I feel like you've had some shifts okay something you thought you could rely on might not have come to fruition yeah we've got the ten of wands here now the ten of wands often uh, is seen as a bad card or whatever but actually it, it represents ten wands of spiritual power fire is spiritual energy okay pure potent cosmic energy that we've got to somehow work out what to do with okay so ace of swords you've seen the truth about something and i feel like you're taking all your power and you're looking for something to put it into you're looking for what you can do with this power the spiritual knowledge or just knowledge about yourself okay page of cups okay so the page of cups is about getting into your imagination being your own best friend being your own cheerleader knowing that you are enough no matter how much that lower human part of you is telling you oh god i'm fearful i don't know what to do we've all got that we've all got that inner child within us it's part of the human condition but my channel is all about helping you know that when you access that soul energy that immortal infinite part of you that exists in non-physical that you can connect with whenever you want 
that's when you really start to live a lifestyle that you realize, you know what, I picked this and I'm gonna make the best of it. Fatima reminds us, what are our intentions? What do we represent? Because everything on our planet is tribal. It all comes back down to family and tribe and where we feel like we belong. No matter how much we might say we don't need others or, you know, we can be really independent, we're still pack animals. We're still really created from the one and we have that urge to be around people. I'm going to clarify these cards soon, but let me just take the... Uh, let me just grab these cards for the most powerful alchemical mindsets you can utilize at this time. Look at this, Nine of Cups, beautiful. So this reminds us that no matter what's going on around us, one at a time, okay, the Empress. Let's see if this devil does wanna come out. Let's see if it comes out again. The Creator, there we go. So the most powerful mindsets you can be in right now, Scorpio, is that wish fulfillment channel of the mind. Now, I always say the human mind is like a TV or a radio station, and they want you to tune in to the wish channel. They want you to remember your wishes and your dreams, okay? They want you to remember what it's all about. It's about manifesting whatever you want. The Empress also. The Empress, occultistically speaking, she reminds us what's important. Now, the creator of their own reality wants to remember when they're finding their power to create their own reality. They want to remember what they're doing it for. They're doing it for love. They're doing it for the things they love and the things that make them feel good. They're doing it so that they can find a higher vibrational heaven on earth. And that's what the Empress represents. Venus energies manifesting our own personal version of heaven on earth. You've got the support here of the universe with the creator card. Okay, you've got the full support to regenerate yourself, to fly like an eagle. You're way more ready than you think, Scorpio. Let me know in the comment box if you are ready and you know you're ready. If you know truly who you are at a soul level. I'm hearing soul group, okay? So know that we never incarnate without soul group members somewhere, okay? They might not even be in the same country as us, but they're there. And if we just align with our higher self, we move with the universe to the sea, we go with the flow and we get magnetized to the right people at the right time, okay? The universe is like our fairy godmother. The universe is like our best friend, fully supporting us in everything we need to do. Okay. Whew. The energy's got in me just then, Scorpio. Okay, let's see. The lovers. They want me to tell you you've got a lot more power than you think. Yeah, look at this. We've got the Six of Wands. Now, the Devil card keeps trying to creep its little head out in this reading. So that could be relevant for someone. See, look at this. Look at this. You're regenerating so you can literally find all this victory in this Two of Cups here. The Lovers, the Two of Cups, the Six of Wands. Remember, the mind creates reality and the mindset that we're on decides which timeline we're on in any given moment. So I feel like you're aligning yourself into and using your imagination, okay? Because the imagination creates life, okay? It's not just a childish thing. Our mind creates reality and we're that powerful. We can create whatever we want. But there's a connection here that you're lining up with, okay? And you're going to feel like so radiant. You're going to feel so powerful. Six of Wands. Look at the crown on this owl. So proud, so poised, so dignified, so glowing with cosmic energy, okay knowing that you got where you were supposed to be so these are the energies that spirit wants you to to allow yourself to revel in two of cups knowing there's the perfect partner out there creating the frequency for the perfect partner or people or friends to come in perfect harmony understanding okay from members of your soul group they want you to get ahead of the game create the frequency so that it can magnetize and attract towards you Okay, remember who you really are. Now I'm gonna clarify these, uh, this 10 of wands. So the tarot is essentially keys to help us create our own reality. And I, you know, you rarely hear anyone saying that because eight of wands here, you rarely hear that said, which is where I come in. Okay, so what happens when we have a lot of spiritual power, but we haven't balanced it out with the right measure of love or the right kind of thinking, we'll always come to sort of 10 of wands kind of dead ends or 10 of swords dead ends. What we really wanna to get to is the 10 of pentacles. That's the final manifestation of the minor arcana, getting to that soul tribe, getting to 
the place we belong, right? So nothing is wasted, okay? And I feel like you're going to be flying past these burdens with the Eight of Wands. You could have had a communication that really bothered you. Yeah, Five of Cups, something quite disappointing that you heard over the phone or something here. We've got King of Wands, so it could have involved a fire sign, someone quite domineering perhaps in this case. Show me this King of Wands title card. Yeah, interesting. This is something that was meant to happen. Okay, I'm hearing by the book, Four of Cups. So you could have rejected someone or you could feel rejected by somebody. But this is all part of your spiritual initiation. The universe, including your higher self, including that non-physical part of you, wants to see how you're going to handle this situation. Okay, they want to, you to learn how to accept the things you cannot change and take what you can Use your mental alchemy, use your focus and your beautiful mind to reframe the events in a way that's beneficial to you. They want you to see the victory in whatever you've gone through. They want you to turn the tables on any disappointment, on any burden, and they want you to really make it a victory for yourself using your imagination. Remember, you're not here for anyone else. You're here for yourself, Nine of Cups. You're here to manifest what you want to manifest, okay? And go off on a new adventure. We've got the Knight of Wands, the uh, page of wands on the bottom of the deck. So those two are moving on from the 10 of wands. They're like, you know what? I've got all this spiritual power. Which direction am I gonna go? Okay, that's the vibe I'm getting here. Okay, I'm gonna save those. They're telling me use the compass cards. So let's see, Scorpio. What does Scorpio need? Hidden knowledge. We're getting this a lot. So you might know something no one else knows. Maybe you've been made uh, aware of a secret. Heart chakra. So this could have hurt your heart. Or maybe you're downloading knowledge because you're accessing your, you know, really activating your heart chakra. Um, for those of you in the psychic world, high priestesses, chosen ones, okay, trust in the knowledge you're being given, okay, because you don't get that sort of knowledge um, if you're not worthy of it, okay. And it's not going to be the sort of knowledge that many people have. All right, so you've got to trust that you are a leading edge being and you're, that you're being given knowledge that you're supposed to share with the universe, that you're supposed to use to help people ascend, help people get in touch with their sovereign side, okay? And use your heart to guide you. We've got ground zero here. So this is about seeing life as a blank canvas where you can reevaluate your wishes, remember who you are, remember what you value and let yourself treat yourself in your mind, okay? Go into the cosmic shopping center of your mind. Remember you can be, do and have anything you want. You can be whatever you want. You can access the Empress energies. You can imagine things even if you don't feel like you can access them right now and imagining them pulls them closer to you, okay? It's just a case of getting that lower mind out of the way, the mind that says, Oh, I don't want to imagine being on a beautiful holiday because then it makes me more frustrated that I'm not on it. Yeah, but you've got to get past that. You've got to get past the bitching and moaning of your lower, your lower mind, okay? We all have. We're all in the same boat here, Scorps. And, you know, they want you to really see the universe as your buffet. They want you to see the uni universe as your personal, you know, shopping channel, you know? And really start imagining those things, okay? I'm getting beauty might be really important for you, you know? getting your nails done, getting your hair done, feeling like a princess or a prince again, or whatever, for the females out there, or, or whatever, you know, you never know what you're allowed to say these days, so whatever, I'm getting it through for a feminine, get back into your divine feminine energies, you know, get yourself doled up, get yourself feeling those beautiful, you know, girlish energies, girls just want to have fun, right, north node energy, okay, so you're on the right path, whether you feel like it or not right now, and I feel like you are regenerating into really accessing that pathway that you chose before you got here, okay? There's certain things you wanted to do, be, and have. And remember, we're always being redirected onto our path, especially when we're in our heart chakra energy. We can't go wrong. And Spirit really wants to take this moment to say, you know what, we take everything so seriously as humans, but the divine beings up there, as we see it, we see them as being up above us, they're with us all the time when we can access them, they're watching, you know. They want us to realize there's nothing so serious going on down here. We think it's serious because a lot of us don't realize the nature of reality. But if we really realize the nature of reality, how infinite we are, we wouldn't take it all so seriously. And we'd manifest everything we want 
in the way we're supposed to way quicker. So realize the power of your mind, realize you can create whatever you want. And I don't say that lightly, okay? This is multiple lifetimes of occultistic, hermetic wisdom that I'm bringing forward into this now moment. And I don't say things in a complicated way because that's no good to most people. I say it in the simplest way I possibly can to really try and help you remember what you already know, which is that you're a sovereign soul, okay? I try and help people get past the fear and realign with their sovereign self so that we can all make this world a more beautiful place, not by focusing on the things we don't want, but by focusing on the things we do want, you know? Turn off the news, whoever I'm speaking to, because the more you watch that crap, the more you see all these so-called protesters on Instagram or whatever, the more it drags your mind into those timelines. And, you know, even these people who think they're protesting against things, they're creating more of it because that's how powerful the mind is. If you really want to change the world, you've got to focus on what you do want. And that replaces the bad stuff. You can't keep focusing on the bad stuff. Ninth house. Now, if you've got Sagittarius in your chart, there might be something in the Sag reading for you also because they had the message that the doors to the ninth house are opening. Perhaps it's a collective thing that the doorways into that ninth house are opening for everybody. So ooh, I'm getting that there's a huge opportunity for us to all excel, speed up our evolution and start to become way more powerful and way more aware of what we truly are. We've got relic here. So you could be holding on to something that's got energy on it that you want to get rid of, or you could be holding on to something that's got valuable energy. I've got initiated here. So it could be an object in your home that holds certain energies that when you meditate on it, it takes you into your yin realm. It takes you into your non-physical in your mindset. I'm getting initiated, okay? So I feel like you've passed some sort of test spiritually and you're being given some hidden knowledge, some higher spiritual knowledge. I love this. Cardinal, again, leadership coming up for you. And we've got Pluto, okay? Your planet, along with Mars. Some people think Scorpio is still a Mars planet. I see Mars and Pluto in Scorpio energies. Let yourself be transformed, okay? Lead your own way in life. And again, these are the energies they really want you to focus on. These are the energies that are trying to channel through you. Victory, okay? The transformation of the mind. That's what the lovers truly represents. It represents really allowing your mind to be transformed in the most positive way so that you end up on the right pathway. And we've got the two of cups. So spirit wants you to keep your third eye on the prize and remember what it's all about. Remember when we get what we don't want, we know what we do want. And you've got some beautiful relationships coming in. Okay, Scorpio, absolutely gorgeous. Now let's pull a few more Oracle cards and see. We'll get one for each row. Okay. Show me the top pro, please. Patience and planning, okay? They want me to tell you that, you know, everything that happens in life for the alchemist, and I don't make my channel for people who are stuck in ego, 3D patterns of thought, or whatever. I make my channel for the top 5% of people who are capable of being the greatest creators at this now moment have ever existed okay we've got positive movement forward so what i was saying is when we end up in a situation that feels like a complete calamity it's still feedback from the universe it's still giving our bear giving us our bearings the universe doesn't lie or make mistakes so whatever energy we've put out we're gonna get back whatever we've conjured up we're going to get back and i'm always grateful for the contrast i'm grateful for whatever happens because i know that it's the universe giving me my feedback and letting me know how well I'm doing alchemically, okay, within my incarnation. So spirit wants us to get above the emotions sometimes, you know, and remember our soul has a much higher vantage point, okay? Our souls chuckle at us, you know, they really do because <laughs> we're so cute as humans, you know, this is why elephants find us really cute. Elephants think of us like puppies because we are the babies of the universe and we're so lovable and sweet. Okay, we've got third eye chakra. We take everything so seriously. And, um, you know, but, you know, this is my job. I'm, I'm trying to make people realize what the tarot actually is. It's keys for us to create our own reality and realize we're portions of God. Okay, and we don't need to be hypnotized and drawn into the media or drawn into the news. We don't have to live our life the way other people tell us to live it just because we felt like we had to go to school or we have to fit in. No, we don't. The universe loves a groundbreaker. 
Groundbreaker Scorpio. We've got Third Eye Chakra, Passion Ignited, okay? So this is you really kind of feeling your own power here, cosmically and physically, in the sense that your body is your temple and it gives you signs and you can feel when things are right for you. You can feel when you're on the right pathway here. This is the Ace of Wands card, this Passion Ignited. So this is like you breaking through, Scorpio. This is you realizing nothing that happens to you can break you if you don't want it to. And even when it does break you, you become stronger even from the breakage, all right? You can heal yourself up even stronger. They're telling me you can't break that which is already broken, you know? Sometimes it's great to revel in your brokenness. Sometimes it's absolutely heavenly to be like, you know, all those things they try and tell you are such bad things to be. They try and make us fear our human journey and feel as if, oh no, I don't want everyone seeing me like this. I'll feel like a failure in the eyes of people. Fuck that, okay? I only care what the gods think of me. I couldn't care less what any human thinks of me. It's nice to be liked and it's nice to be appreciated. But unless you're my soul group, meh not bothered. Right, new beginnings, okay? New beginnings, okay? I want you to really remember what you wish for, what means the most to you in relationships, in life, what victories you want to have, and reignite that within you, Scorpio. Get that fire burning. You've got such powerful energy, Plutonian energy, Oh, I love it. You can transmute any energy you want. You are the transmuters. So in a way, the worse you feel, the better it is because you can take all that energy, all that emotional juju, all that essence of energy that gets conjured up in you and you can transmute it. You can turn lead into gold and you're the masters at doing that. You know, I've been around people who they can't get over a breakup. They drag the energy around with them everywhere and I'm like, I've got like Pluto and Scorpio, Venus and Scorpio, Mercury and Scorpio. I go deep in relationships, but when it's over, it's over. And I transmute that energy so quickly. I look back at people I've been in relationships with very rarely. And I think to myself, God, they feel like they just don't exist to me. You know, they're just not like they're dead to me in a mean way, but it's like, whoa, that was a totally different version of me that was with that person. I'm, I've completely regenerated myself. And I find it funny when people can't get over things because Scorpios are that good at transmuting energy. Wisdom, Scorpio, wisdom. We come here to put ourselves through these trials and tribulations so that we can gain the wisdom and remember what truly matters is, you know, evolving our souls. And, you know, everything we think and all the energies we send out, they're creating reality forward. And it goes on forever. So it's good to get comfortable in the now moment. It's good to know your power. It's good to know you're a portion of God. And you've got constant access to the divine realms, okay? Solitude might be really good for you. I feel like you should really make the most of your time alone while you can, Scorpio. Because you've got this coming in. You've got this spiritual union. Look at this. Just confirming the tarot cards we had on the bottle, bottom. Bowl. We've got spiritual union, we've got triumph, we've got victory and success to add to this victory and this spiritual union, okay? This is confirming that you're on the road home. You are literally on the way to the best relationship and you're going to feel the victory. You're going to feel triumphant. So spirit's saying get in that energy of triumph ahead of time, but enjoy your solitude because soon enough, you're going to be paired up again. If you're single right now, it's not going to be long. So enjoy those energies. Be like a teenager again. Enjoy your solitude. Get into your music. Get into your notepads. Get into your plan in life and being enthusiastic. Woo. This was a great reading. I really enjoyed this reading. Okay. You've got me fired up, Scorpio. Okay. So I've really loved channeling these energies in. Use everything to your advantage. Okay. You've got this. I love you loads. And uh, I've really enjoyed channeling these energies. Mwah, mwah, mwah.